welcome to the channel. So this video is going to be about toilet training, how to toilet train your pug or your puppy. Um, it is a challenging thing, but if you have the right tools, you can do it and it's worth it. So the first thing you need to know is that pugs, um, they need to be in, well, most puppies need to be in a confined space at first. So if you can leave them in your kitchen or somewhere where the floor is easy to clean, that's the best bet. Um, you should try to keep uh, puppy pads always in the same corner of the room. Um, puppy pads can be can look like this. There's different brands, as you probably know. You can easily buy them anywhere online. Uh, these are from Amazon, um, and they are from the brand Out. We also have this uh, puppy pad holder. Basically, you clip the puppy pads on in here, and they are secure, and this will prevent the puppy from being able to rip the puppy pad to pieces. Which they love to do. <laughs> exactly. They're from um, the same brand, um, so they fit perfectly. Other ones won't. Exactly. And a really good product that we use when Lily has accidents, which sometimes can happen when puppies are small, um, is this. It's the Simple Solution Extreme Stain and Odor Remover for dogs. We'll put the links in the description. You can also get this for cats. Um, this one's for dogs. And it works really well, so it eliminates uh, any stains or odors and it completely gets rid of the scent that the dog can um, well can detect and this will avoid them to uh, repeat offend yeah repeat offend also something that's really important is every time that they use the pad so you can you need to have a keyword you need to say toilet for example mm -hmm. we say lily toilet um and she will uh, spe especially when they start sniffing the floor, that's when you know that they're probably trying to go anyway. So if you say toilet then, you will prevent them from doing it in the first place. Uh, whereas if you wait, then they could have um, an accident. Uh, one thing that works really well for pugs, because pugs are really, really great for food, as you can see, <laughs> is these treats from the brand Bounce and Bella. Excuse the state of the packaging, but Lily loves these ones, as you can tell. They're premium, grain-free treats for dogs. They have no additives, they're just poultry, potato, gravy, and nothing else. Um, so they're basically chicken and potato <laughs> uh, made into biscuits. These are really, really good. She loves them. They're healthy. And um, you can get them anywhere on Amazon, anywhere online. Uh, they're affordable and they will last you a long time. They have uh, 500 grams of treats. They're really tiny treats I can show you. Pugs really love treats and puppies in general love food, but pugs are really greedy puppies. Really greedy animals. Uh, Just gonna stare right. And as you can see, Lily loves these. Um, I think we should do a little test. Lily! Do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want it? I think so. I think so. There you go, good girl. Yeah, so every time she goes to the toilet in the right place after being told to, then she gets a treat. Um, and soon enough, she'll just keep going to the pad because she's expecting a treat from that. Exactly. Um, and some people say, oh, maybe you shouldn't use treats because then your puppy will always expect to get a treat when they use the toilet. But we find that with uh, pugs, that doesn't really happen because, well, it does happen, but it works because it, ma it means that she will use the toilet if she associates it with the treats, uh, which shouldn't be too much of a problem once she grows older, she'll just grow out of it anyway. Um, but yeah, this is the strategies that we use. Uh, yeah. Another strategy. Because Lily's just indoors at the moment, she's not been for a full vaccination yet then it's vital that she's um, pad trained indoors so we find that these tools have been vital for us and um, 
recommend them over anything else that we've used. Yeah, we've tried different things, but this seems to be the best strategy. Um, and yeah. she started associating the word toilet with the puppy pad and running to it and using it. Of course, at some time she will try to go next to it because I find that bugs are really picky. So if they've already peed on the puppy pad, you have to be a bit more uh, persistent and tell them to use it in, in say, toilet because they might think, oh, okay, this is has been used once or twice, it's done. Uh, but then soon they'll just get used to it because they are very absorbent and because they have these little fibers here um, the, the pee and the poops don't get to this side at all so it's really good if you have carpets or any other type of flooring really and then when it's done you can just fold it and dispose of it and that's that yeah and they're really affordable uh, you get a hundred for um, is it about 15 pounds or 14 or 13, I'm yeah, not sure, yeah. but it's not very expensive and you only you will only need one of these a day anyway. Um, we'll put links to all these products anyway. Yeah, we will add the links. Uh, and that's that really, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so treats, regularly changing the pads, using a keyword, <laughs> toilet lily. There you go, she knows that. <laughs> yeah, <and> kisses. <laughs> you could go. Yeah, so that's it really. Any other questions then just leave them in the comments below and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button for more of lily's adventures thank you thank you and welcome to the channel bye guys bye say bye bye, -bye. lily bye bye <laughs> <laughs> toilet Good girl. Good girl, Lily. Good girl.